Good afternoon, everybody. This is Adrienne Montgomery with ERP VAR. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be talking about winning with the A team, a trusted partnership with a stake in your success. Today, I'm so pleased to be joined by Noelle Bloxen. She's the Acumatica Partner Recruitment Manager, and I'm going to let her go ahead and kick it off with the, uh, the Acumatica team introduction. Thank you so much, Noelle. Thank you, Adrienne. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining today. And yes, along with me, I have my colleague, Dennis Jane, who is our partner account manager. We also have one of our prime partners, Dan Schwartz from Nextview, CEO, and his colleague, Julie Stanky, and my colleague, Mark Rudhouse, who is our Acumatica Inside Sales Account Manager. All right, so let's kick it off today with an interview with Dan Schwartz. He's the founder and president of Nextview Inside information system. Dan is the president and founder of NextView Information System. He's been in business implementing ERP solutions for over 30 years. Prior to joining with Acumatica, NextView was a Microsoft Dynamics partner. Dan was one of the first to develop and introduce add-on solutions to packaged ERP solutions and eventually sold or licensed these solutions to Microsoft. Seeing the value of the cloud six years ago, Dan shifted NextView's trajectory to focus exclusively on Acumatica. And today we're going to spend some time speaking with Dan and he can tell us why he has chose Acumatica and give us a little background about his history. Hi, Dan. Hi, Noel. Thank you for inviting me to talk today. You're quite welcome. We appreciate you taking the time. Uh, so let's begin. Who was next to you? So as you had said, we're a, an ERP integrator. We've been in the industry, uh, I hate to say, at this point I just say over 30 years and I'll leave it at that. Um, and you know, prior to joining the Acumatica team and community, we were implementing primarily Microsoft Dynamics SL. And at that point, uh, you know, really focusing on a project, the project industry. Um, and then just to kind of you know get into you know how we got involved with Acumatic or the timeline, I guess it was about six or seven years ago. Um, you know everybody knows the story in the industry with Microsoft and you know how popular cloud was getting, and we had to make a probably one of the most strategic decisions in our you know 30 plus year history of what we're going to do next. And we had uh, we looked at you know what was available out there, and, and for various reasons, you know at that point. Acumatica really was a known uh, a known commodity industry, and it was relatively new. I think it was version three coming out of the gate. So it was a very, you know, at that point it was a risky decision. Uh, but it, you know, looking back on it, it was probably you know, the best strategic decision we've made as a company since our inception. So, but um, you know, prior to that, we had done a fair amount of development in the Dynamics world, and we had developed some add-on products. Um, we had about you know, although we're not a large company, we're under 20 people. One of our products sold over 2,000 users in the you know, Microsoft world, and then Microsoft had actually purchased some of our uh, IP directly or licensed it directly. Wow, very impressive. So, could you expound a little bit more on the choosing and selecting of Acumatica? I mean, I'm sure that was a process where you had to take some time to really see how it would fit to bring on a new ERP software publisher into your portfolio. Sure. So, you know, at that, at that point, um, there weren't really, you know, there weren't that many options to choose from, but the decision to go Acumatica was overwhelmingly based on, even back then, the Acumatica framework. So, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the business model, but we, you know, are accustomed to doing a lot of, uh, development or tailoring, you know, to specific clients. So, you know, we tend not to do too much. Uh, well, we'd like to do more out of the box, but our strength, you know, from our for our company was being able to use the tools or the framework, you know, of a solution uh, and extending it, you know, to a specific client or in some cases building uh, additional ISV or add-on solutions that we could market to the, the partners in the channel. Um, so at that point in time, it was really the the strategy and the framework. And then, you know, we traveled to their headquarters at that point. It was in uh, Virginia, uh, met with the CEO at the time and uh, a couple other, you know, executive management teams. And it was really, you know, their description of the, the company strategy uh, and the direction they were taking. 
you know, coming out of the Microsoft world and working with a big company, it was it was nice to be able to have a, a relationship based um, partnership, uh, you know, with the executive management team and, and just understand, be able to talk at that kind of level. So, but it was a key decision for the company at that point. Okay, great. Thank you. So, would you kind of describe then how NextView shift from selling legacy products and how did that transition go? Okay. So that, you know, it's a big step. We were totally embedded. Everybody in our company, all our staff had been working on the Dynamics SL platform for many years, 10 or 15 years. We were primarily doing uh, project driven and professional service organizations. And at that point, uh, Acumatic didn't have a project module um, at that point. So it was really a complete shift for us. It took us a, you know, a while to get up to speed. Um, but for us, because we were fully committed to it, and we were, you know, we were betting the company on it. Really, uh, we did a complete shift. So a lot of that was, um, you know, we had a, a lot of companies on our legacy solution. We made the decision to really move over our our team, our our, our resources, and to take care of our legacy base. For the most part, we worked with a company, you know, who took care of Dynamics SL and and outsourced, I'd say, 90% um, of our legacy base to them in terms of consulting and services. So we still had some recurring revenue from the maintenance contracts. We left one person, you know, in our, ta in our staff, one of our uh, most experienced per uh, staff members in, in Dynamics SL, and, and he continued to work with clients, but we had to make a, you know, strong decision and move everybody else to get them trained on the Acumatica platform and, you know, to be uh, direct at that point, there was not that much framework and it was a very new product. We're talking six or seven years ago. Uh, there wasn't that much recognition of the product in the industry. So it, it was the first two years was tough. I, I kind of envy people who are getting into the Acumatica channel today. It, it, it's a much easier route to follow. You don't have to make as much of a, a financial commitment and resource commitment that we did, you know, at that point when it was a little bit earlier in the, the life cycle of Acumatica. Okay, great. Thank you. So this next slide I want to, expound on is what successes have you had with Acumatica and please share more about your client story. Sure so the slide you're looking at now is uh, one of our large uh, distribution manufacturing clients in New Jersey. Um, they're about the 10th largest kitchen cabinet manufacturer um, in North America maybe the world I'm, I'm not sure which it is actually uh, but they want customer of the year um, they've got a million square foot brand new facility in New Jersey, you know, as modern as you can get, just built from the ground up. And with them, it was really used the Acumatica framework. So, you know, they had a development team of 20 people in-house. They had a lot of uh, existing systems and we were able to move the entire operation uh, to Acumatica, built about nine real-time interfaces with the Acumatica Web Service API, uh, got everybody trained up. They probably pushed through I don't know, 20,000 line items. It's probably 30,000 today, about 30,000 line items today. Um, and we got them up and running in about five months time. So it, it was a great story, great company to work with. Uh, so that, you know, that was that, I guess that got the most notoriety and the most uh, acclaim, but, you know, we've, a lot of the projects we've worked on, are, you know, again, have been equally as much effort from both the client and, and our team have gone through. So, um, there's a variety of clients, everything from amusement parks to um, airline companies, uh, and it, every of them has some unique success involved. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, how can we leverage the platform uh, to get the software to fit more like, a, you know, a glove than a mitten. And, you know, I keep talking about the, the framework and the platform. Um, but it's something you really have to work with and have had experience with legacy products to appreciate, you know, how much, how efficient it is for us to do solutions on that today. Very nice. And uh, I see you here on stage at uh, our annual partner summit. Um, and our next one coming up, we'll talk a little bit more later about our summit in January in Vegas. So uh, it's good to see you there front and center. And uh, what, I think you've kind of touched on it earlier, but what is your actual business model? Sure. So 
you know, as I said, when we worked with Dynamics, we were primarily um, doing professional services and projects. So we really had to get out of that business for the most part because there was no projects module six or seven years ago. Today, you know, it, we're it's it's there, but we didn't get back into it. So, you know, our model um, was really three, I'll call it three main revenue lines. Um, one is the traditional horizontal of our business where uh, we get a lot of opportunities. Some, you know, we generate, some come from Acumatic Elite referrals, um, but they're, you know, primarily either distribution, uh, some, you know, financial only deals. Uh, we call that, you know, horizontal businesses. It's mostly the traditional model. But as I had said, you know, we, we like to do a lot of development and design and the Acumatica framework was the place to start. So we've also in the last three years released two uh, ISV or vertical market solutions. And that, that's really the direction that we're, we're focused on. So one of them, again, leverages Acumatica. It's for, it's a, it's a quote, a micro vertical. It's companies who do food distribution. Um, they're the companies with the huge freezers and the trucks you see out every morning at about five and six o'clock delivering to Delhi schools, um, cafeterias. So we wrote a, a vertical market solution for that and that, that's doing, doing well. And then the other one, which was a you know, much bigger effort, um, was developing a solution for the rental industry. And that's you know, rental equipment uh, or any company that uses their, their assets to generate revenue. So they could provide monitoring services and you're, they're using a, um, cameras or video or uh, vibration monitors. Um, so, you know, we work through the partner channel with that. Um, but again, the rental 360, for example, in I'd say two to three years time, using the framework, we were able to create the, um, a, the functional equivalency of products that were at this, have been added for 30 years. So our development cycle, literally from the Microsoft platform to, to Acumatica, we spend about 1 15th of the time to come up with a, a better product uh, with less remediation. So it's really a completely you know, different generation of, of development. Okay, great. Thank you for that. So the next slide, I guess, is going to lend to, you know, what do you like best about Acumatica, our partnership? Uh, as I say, you can probably guess my answer about, about Acumatica. I've mentioned the framework <laughs> enough times. Um, so the other thing, remember, we you know we came out of the the Microsoft world where, uh, although it was one vendor, it seemed like it was twenty, and you could get any of the twenty to talk to you. So there, there was you know essentially no relationship and no way to remediate issues. And you know, given the Acumatic is substantially smaller, it's a lot about the relationship. And, and when there's an issue or something comes up, and invariably, you know, nothing's perfect. Um, I, I don't feel like I'm out there by myself. I can always go to my Pam or, or even to somebody else on the management team. And, and it's a very relationship-focused organization, both with the partner and with the customer. Um, I, you know, I'll give you an example. It came up yesterday. You know, one of our sites, a very large one, had had an issue come up. Uh, the CIO, you know, was panicked a little bit, and uh, he emailed, emailed me. I emailed uh, Dinesh, who you're going to hear from shortly, and within five minutes, uh, everything was good again. So, you know, it's they, they're still small enough to respond to both partners and customers and have a direct one-on-one -on -one relationship with. Uh, in our case, it's our PAM. That's great. Good. Glad you expounded on that. We like to hear that. But so let's let's end with this last question then. So you talked about the wonderful things, but what is the biggest challenge you face as an Acumatica partner? Well, that, that's an easy one. Um, our limit to growth is really, you know, the the implementation resources that we can get. Um, you know, it's a tight market, and as you know, the people on the call know, to train somebody from scratch outside of ERP takes a good, you know, six to nine months to make them um, successful in the marketplace. So you know, our ability to sell right now outstrips our ability to implement. And, and quite honestly, for that reason, we uh, go back to Acumatica sometimes and we get some deals that we just say, you know, well, let's have Acumatica implement this because we've got more complicated or deals that require more development or for different reasons, you know, we'll, we'll stick with those. But right now it's our ability to, to hire good implementation resources. Okay, thank you so much. Sam, we really we appreciate you taking the time today to, you know, answer these questions because majority of the audience 
today is par our partner prospects. People are looking to consider becoming a partner. So um, you providing, you know, the feedback you gave us and the information about who you are as a company and your successes means a lot. So thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And next we have my colleague, partner account manager, Dinesh Jain. Dinesh, all yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dinesh in joining this webinar. I would like to thank you all for your time and attendance here. Uh, so let's talk about a uh, little bit of background about myself. Um, I'm located right in Washington, D.C. Metro, Ruston, to be, Ruston, Virginia, to be very specific. I work for Acumatica. Uh, been with Acumatica for over six years, actually, it's getting close to about seven years. So I joined Acumatica. As it's really, it's, you know, still small and growing fast, but when I joined it, imagine it was much smaller. So um, I joined Acumatica about six and a half years ago. Prior to that, I joined the ERP industry back in uh, 1998. That's where my first learning about ERP industry was. So it's carried a little bit of experience working with partners, direct sales, uh, with many, many different types of customers, different verticals. Um, and prior to that, I moved from India. This is back in 1991 to study master's of law. I do have a degree in law, but then I came to study master's quickly. Uh, when I realized when I came here, things were more on information technology. Everybody was kind of jumping into the bandwagon, if you remember 30 years back or 29 years back. So I did change my career to information technology. Uh, I'm not a coder or a tester or developer, but I'm more really of a business person. That's what I consider. So now what I do, with, what do I do in Acumatica? So I work with um, partners, obviously, just like Nextview, Dan Schwartz, uh, partners, customers, and even prospects, the customer prospects, right, in the territory of Northeast, right? So anything from Washington, D.C., to be very specific, Richmond, Virginia, majority of the states, all the states going towards the north, across the border, even two provinces in Canada, and then, of course, I started the initiative of Acumatica UK back in 2013, so we do have a few partners and many customers in the United Kingdom as well. So I, what type of partners do I work with? I work with uh, many different partners, small and large. I have partners, uh, they are, you know, a five employee company and they're fully dedicated to Acumatica, next few, which is mixed size and then much larger partners as well. 100% um, fully strategically involved with each of the partners that I work with. And of course, we, we really are aimed towards providing the excellent support to um, our partners growing their business and obviously want to have want to make sure that our customers are happy in the territory okay um, so next slide please so now the question is right from my view what is a successful acumatica war looks like right so this is very very uh, broader question but I'll try to paint the picture I'll give you some examples in between right so it really depends on you know Many, many different things. One of the big things that I always think about because I started working with many partners where they were very small when they joined back in 2013 and 14, they were three or five employee company. But the biggest factor in my opinion is how much aligned a particular partner is with Acumatica, right? Are they fully focused to Acumatica? right? Um, are they learning Acumatica product? Because these are all very, very important points, right? You could be you could be 50 employee company. Yes, it sounds good, but how much are you integrated with Acumatica? How much are you focused on Acumatica is the most important thing, right? So um, I'll give you an example. Obviously, Dan Schwartz, next week, who just talked about, I started working in pleasure, really. I started working with them back in 2014 myself, even though they joined a little bit earlier, right? Um, Dan Schwartz really had done a good job to learn Acumatica. I could see that when first meeting with Dan Schwartz in 2014, that they focused 100%, even though, yes, they carried Microsoft product, but their focus was fully on Acumatica. Their team was fully, right, and still learning fully versed on Acumatica. So that was a big success, in my opinion, for Dan's success, which you talked about. So many customers, they're outselling Acumatica product, obviously, and then, you know, involving Acumatica for implementation. So that's number one. How much are you involved? in product learning how much are you dedicated because it goes from the leadership top down if the the ceo the owner of the company is fully integrated fully believing in the product that you're selling obviously your team is going to be so that's really number one in my opinion for the success and of course many other things goes on which obviously you know uh, what are we doing right so do we have a current customer database that you think 
the partner may think that, hey, these are the customers probably there on the old legacy system. What can we do? Not just only from the selling point, but also helping our customers point too. That, hey, you're on a legacy product. You've been using this product for 20, 15 years. This is an old system. You need to be upgraded. Many different things you can think about from the security point, from the cloud point. So we developed such strategies with the partners where, you know, obviously, um, they will craft a list and we'll sort of give the message and uh, we'll come up with many different things, uh, how to approach the customer um, or their customer, obviously, and then talk about Acumatica. Another um, important thing, so once the sales is done, obviously, staying on the sales, obviously, strategic relationship, but then um, what are we doing for implementation? Dan Schwartz just talked about, right? So um, he's selling a lot. Um, implementation is the challenge. Dan and I had a conversation a few months back. Uh, we involved the Acumatica Professional Services Group in there. We talked about it. So any of the implementation which he feels is going to be done by Acumatica. That's another important point that how much are you really taking care of after selling that how much the implementation is it on time on budget because at the end of the day happy customer is going to really help us to replicate to grow our business where the references are there where customer referrals are coming to and Dan is the big testimony right here where many many customers reach out to him we have different channels and sort of bring prospects to him so that's what I really think about a successful war in nutshell how much are we aligned is it a strategic relationship if it is if it is fully committed relationship I think it's going to have a way better chance of success than any other relationship all right, so let's talk about um, sort of what we consider a role of a, a team, which is obviously, you know, that's what we pay attention to. So what we provide to our partners is a 100% dedicated team going to them who's, in my opinion, as I'm working with my partner, so it's more of a very strategic again, right? So 100% dedicated to success of my partners. I'll give you an example. Yesterday night, because I work with the partners in UK. Obviously, there is a time difference. I get a text later on around 6 o'clock in the evening. Dinesh, can you join a call? Generally, it doesn't happen, but sometimes it does happen. We are very dedicated to my partner's success. So can you join a call today morning at 7 o'clock? 7 means 5 hours ahead. It's what, 12.30? Obviously, yeah, no problem. I gave him a message immediately, and I was actually, I've been working since 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30, and join the call. Hopefully, we close the business. So fully dedicated a team which is our side from Acumatica to our partner success, right? Whatever it takes. Uh, I'm 100% accountable to help build, not only just build, even maintain and grow my partner's success business. Uh, what are the resources we would provide or bring to the table to the partners, right? So marketing, we have a full marketing team, which obviously if the partner really um, wants us to engage in the marketing discussion, wants us to join or do a, um, uh, any type of campaign for them, right? If you need any technical resources, many times partner run the product, but also they come to us that, hey, Dinesh, these are the three items. Can someone from your Acumatica team join? and help us with the demo, always there for us, right? And then, um, of course, helping to build the marketing strategy, very, very important, that's where it starts with. Uh, many different marketing events, right? So I have done with uh, Dan Schwartz, next week, many different events. Recent was um, a lunch and learn event where we had about, uh, right in Stanford, Connecticut, about 17 attendees. And right after that, obviously, they were very well qualified attendees, very well prepped. Uh, two of them actually confirmed business with next week in Acumatica. Right. And then, of course, um, you know, uh, biweekly pipeline, biweekly sort of, you know, cadence calls, right, where we different, discuss different things, different opportunities. What do we need to do? How do we go about the opportunity? Where does the partner need our help? So give you the example, which Dan Schwartz shared, uh, their customer, Fabio. It started about 2017. Uh, from the beginning, we've been involved. And then on Dan's request, I at least took three trips from Virginia to New Jersey customer location and Dan must have done probably 10 or 15 and then we flew the final closing final trip was where even I invited some of the team members from different locations while I was driving back I get a good news from the partner from Dan that Dinesh this is a done deal they're signing so this is how we strategically work with our partner hand in to hand looking at the success together um, this is what I wanted to give my message and that's what you can expect from Acumatica. Uh, thank you so much. If any questions, we'll be happy to. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dinesh. And as you can see on the slide, we're giving you a little commercial for upcoming annual Acumatica Partner Summit 2020. It will be in Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan. 
January 26th to the 31st. Um, the first three days is the actual summit. Uh, this is where everybody comes together and it's the Acumatica employees, Acumatica customers, our partners, both VARs and ISDs will be in attendance, our analysts, um, you'll get to see keynote presentations and demos. There's workshops involved, lots going on, and even we have fun at in, in, in nighttime. Um, but the last three days of that week, we offer our certification workshops, and we have more information on our website about the upcoming summit. But here's a nice little uh, com commercial for our upcoming um, giveaway, uh, giveaway that we're doing. Uh, could you change the slide, please? Everyone who has registered for this webinar, your names have been entered into a drawing. We will be having this drawing next month, and there'll be one lucky winner who will receive a free summit pass only, and at the value of $9.95 to come join us in Vegas. Now, of course, that means you have to take care of your accommodations and your uh, flight and travel uh, accommodations, but we will make sure that you get there to summit on us. So good luck to all of you who have, who have registered for this webinar today. And for those who um, register and could not attend, it does get recorded, so that's a good thing. And your names will be entered into the, uh, the contest. And I believe the next slide is from my partner, uh, Mark Rudhouse, who's partner recruitment inside sales account manager. Mark, you have a few words? Yes, thanks, Noel. Um, thanks to everyone for attending. Um, we definitely are interested in in having our prospective partners at, at Summit, if at all possible. Um, so um, hope you can join us there. And um, one thing, uh, as you can see here, if you have any questions, please contact me. The first point uh, of contact is me, as if you're looking to be a, a partner with Acumatica. Um, those of you who are on the call who have already spoken with me have um, heard me already say that um, one thing that's unique about Acumatica is that we only sell through partners. We do not have a direct sales team. So as we look to bring on prospective partners, uh, we're looking at organizations that are looking to grow their business so they can help us grow ours. So um, if you fit into that category and you're interested in doing the type of work that NextView is doing, um, but in your geographic area and the industries that you're focused on, uh, I'd love to speak with you. And uh, so there's my email address there. You can send me a follow-up that way. Um, and also know that anyone we're not already working with, um, I will reach out to you as well, anyone who's uh, who either registered or attended today. So that's it for me. So thank you everybody for joining again and we hope to see you on a future webinar. All right, everybody, take care. Have a great day. Enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday next week.